From zeros to heroes, oh, what a difference a week makes if you are Ashley in search of the one. Yes, Marcus is probably still working on his strategy. And Jason and Tiffany, well, they might have a date or two or three in the future. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today, we're going to be talking about TV One's reality-based TV series, The One, season number one, episode number four. But before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please click that notification button so you know when we upload new content, and please send us your comments. Ashley had to make a choice between two people that she really didn't like, Jason and Marcus. Tammy asked Jason if he liked Tiffany. Jason said that his focus was on Ashley, but no. Nah, the brother had hard eyes for Tiffany, and everyone in the room knew that. Especially Tammy, which is probably why she asked the question from the beginning. Right. Uh, meanwhile, Kirk asked a question of Marcus. He asked him basically how he felt about uh, his approach going into the process. His strategy. He said he uh, didn't feel like he needed to drink. Once he saw Jason was drinking like a fish. He thought he could sit back in the cut and let it all happen, but Pert thought that he fell asleep. But he wasn't showing them anything. But according to uh, Marcus, he did very well. Yes. With the process. Yes. And was pleased with his, shall we say, performance. Yes. So Ashley uh, then uh, takes the opportunity to let both of them know that that she wasn't going to choose either one of them. Yeah, she cut both of them loose. After the fact, Kurt was just screaming laughter when she said that. Uh, Tammy said she's happy for Ashley. She's growing. And Brett said it's about time, meaning that she should have done that the week before as well. So we go on to the following day. Eddie B is a brother of Nigerian descent and Shuva. Both of them are, are very pleasantly pleased with what they see in the form of Ashley and uh, Ashley uh, likewise. She thought they were both good on the eyes, particularly Abe. So the instructor came over and showed them what to do with the pottery wheel. But before we get into that, let's pivot over to Brent and his dates, Stephanie and Maika. Right. What were they doing? Well, they were both learning how to play virtual golf with a driver. And I believe it was Brent who took it upon himself to kind of show off, you know, his skills to Maika, who was, I think, struggling a little bit more so than Stephanie. Right. And I guess they chose that location because Brent is beginning to get into golf. Practicing that swing is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure he enjoyed the location where they had their dates. Right. And after both ladies got a chance to kind of get some practice in, uh, they sat down as a group and kind of talked about some things. Right. Mm -hmm. And Maika said that she has two kids, mm -hmm. and I believe Stephanie said she had uh, a kid as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and Both of them single moms who were doing their thing. Right. Much respect to them. And prior to the day, Tammy was proud that that Brett will go out on a date with women who have more than one child because um he didn't open himself to that opportunity and that could be a missed opportunity for him going forward so i'm glad like tammy that he he spread his wings a little more and include the single mother yeah brent actually got uh got a chance to go out with a couple of ladies who didn't fit into his pattern uh he asked the ladies of course or what they where they come from and what they're about Maika, she comes from a family of nine siblings. Huge family. Wow. Massive. And she said that two of her siblings passed and she has been dealing with some level of grief. Uh, Stephanie said she comes from a, a family of, or what, uh, four. She had four siblings. And Brett started talking about um, grief. He asked her how she's doing with the loss of her brother and her sister because he thinks that's important. And she said she's doing fine. Grief is a little difficult to manage because you never know when it will show its head. And right for right through here, she's okay. Yeah, and, he, and Brent did say that uh, 
that he kind of felt like, in, you know, from his own vantage point, and I think he said this in the confessional, that grief is to be managed. Yes. But it's not, it's it's kind of hard to do that when, no, you, can't manage when, you, grief. when you, you don't ever know when it's going to hit you, you know, regarding a loss that you've experienced. How do you, uh, I would be curious to find out, you know, from him, you know, how he would go about doing that. Brett actually, you know, took the time to reveal that he too had had losses last year. Um, his grandparents, uh, both of them passed away last year. So that was obviously, you know, a shock for him. And then he lost two dogs on top of that. Yes. So after once he decided that they're going to have a little competition. Yeah. And that whoever hit the ball the furthest will get some one-on-one -on -one time with him. Yeah, I think Stephanie went first, and uh, she did okay. Maika went first. Was it? Yeah, the short one. She went first. And okay, Maika. The one who won. Okay, yeah, Maika. You're right. Maika went uh, went first, and uh, I think she kind of, uh, uh, shall we say, choked. shanked one. She shanked one. Okay. And uh, and all that off off the virtual tee, and then uh, I think it was. Uh, Stephanie, who showed her uh, how it's done. Yes. She drove that ball down the fair, down the virtual fairway and then had some distance to it. So she won, and so she has more time with Brent. On the other hand, both Ashley and Abe's father are alcoholics. Ashley said that her father is a recovering. Abe then said that he too had that experience. Uh, his Parents' marriage was a little rough. The father was an alcoholic, but he got saved, and that helped him to overcome. Um, he's a recovering alcoholic as well. Um, and Ali, in terms of family experience, was something that uh, I guess led to, at least from Abe's point of view, a, a chemistry between between he and Ashley. And it was, um, at least from my vantage point, authentic. Yes, it was. Then Ashley asked, hey, what, what do you like to do um, on your downtime? Ashley said she liked um, rock climbing. Um, I think Shuval. Yeah. He indicated that he liked uh, smoking cigars and listening to old school music. Mm -hmm. And Abe talked about fitness. Yeah, um, and how he likes to read and also, too, I think he likes uh, every once in a while to get into movies as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Ashley clearly looked like she enjoyed the dates, and she even said that it was far and above what she experienced last week with the guys. Yeah. And, of course, they have their second date. Anything but last week. <laughs> so we see them back at the house and... I believe Brent stopped by Ashley's room to ask Sarah, hey, how did the dates go? Uh, he got the impression that everything must have gone very well and then some, and it actually did. She uh, had a lot of positive things to say about both guys and that uh, she really wasn't at a place where she knew which one she liked more. She said they were neck and neck. She thought they were both impressive. A welcome change. Meanwhile, Brett said his dates also went well and that he was looking forward to meeting them tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, and they had an event planned. They had a sommelier at the location with wine tasting and covered strawberries. You, you can't go wrong with a date like that. Mm -hmm. So all the usual suspects came through. Yep. And they were all dressed nicely. Mm -hmm. No one was drinking like a fish and talking some foolishness. So Well, let the church say amen. Ashley asked the asked a question about how um each one of this each one of uh, them were kind of preparing themselves for marriage. Chuvar kind of said that he's um basically tired of having to deal with you go out to the club and you you meet somebody else maybe hooking up later on and that that's not what he's and that's not what he's about at this point in his life right he said he has moved on from being the player player so now he's looking for something real Ashley said that she's always been into self-healing um micah she said that she trusts God to to bring that person to her. And I believe um, Abe said that he has been healing from relationships in his past. And, and that tells him ready to be married. Yeah, and I thought it was 
very good answers from all of them. Yeah. Uh, it was it was just really good to hear people being authentic about where they are and where they hope to be and where they're, you know, moving towards, you know, in a in a very proactive way and very um sincere way. Yeah, but I got to tell you um I think Brent felt a kind of way when Cheval was breaking down the old man at the club syndrome. Brent said he thought Cheval was trying to dominate the the conversation. You could tell he was a little uh, as you said salty. Yeah. So Stephanie came over and grabbed um, Brent mm -hmm. to have the extended one-on-one -on -one with him. To collect on her competition earnings or winnings, right. what have you. And in the meanwhile, Kurt and Tammy Kurt. rolled through. Kurt asked, uh, Maika, how do you feel about Brent having a little bit of one-on-time -on -time with uh, Stephanie? And uh, she said, uh, it's okay, but uh, you know what? I'll give my chance to have, have uh, some one-on-one -on -time one on one time with him later on. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried. Tammy asks the guys, what do they like about Ashley? Yeah, and Shivar said that he likes the fact that Ashley seems to be, in somebody he just met, uh, seems to be able to ask serious questions on the one hand in the course of a conversation, but also be able to pivot on the other hand to just having fun. Right. And that was really attractive, uh, you know, in terms of a quality that he kind of admired about her, right. you know, having just met her. Mm -hmm. And as it relates to Abe, he took the bull by the horns and said, you know what, I'm going to, he didn't wait. To, he didn't wait uh, after uh, Shuvar finished. He spoke right up and told Tammy what he liked about Ashley. And he referenced, obviously, the, the chemistry that they have based on the similar uh, family experiences and, and all that. And she just seemed like she was... Uh, authentic, and he was obviously attracted to her, you know, physically, and thought she was, uh, you know, uh, very pleasing, very pretty woman. Brent asked Stephanie how she's feeling. She said she feels good. He asked if she uh, was into fitness. She said, well, she'd do it every now and then now that she's getting older, but she does like a, a breakfast pig. Bacon, y'all. I smell bacon. Fred says they got to get her away from the swamp. Apparently, he's not a fan of bacon. So, but before that, Brett and her were discussing the the dating women with children. Right. Well, Brett was saying uh, to uh, Stephanie that, yeah, it's not normally uh, what he does, but he was open to that process. He was not going to deal with a woman who had drama with the father what is uh stephanie saying well that wouldn't be me because i definitely got uh daddy drama got some things going on at the house right i don't know if you heard that but she did say that meanwhile miss maika came and she she interrupted them she said hey it's my time and she brought brent a gift it was so smooth, and it was just, um, it was unexpected, and I think it caught him completely by surprise. Yes. Uh, she brought him, uh, because he said he liked to meditate, so she bought him a book of meditations, mm -hmm. as well as she probably felt um, the, the hurt he felt losing those two dogs, which meant a lot to him. Right. She bought him this, this plaque with a poem or affirmation on it and a space where he can put the photographs or the poor of you know both animals that he lost and you could see that choked him up he's you could tell he's not accustomed receiving gifts from women the woman that he's dating and that made a really big impression on him uh i thought it was well done on on mike's part i thought it was thoughtful and considerate uh, it was um you know, just something that uh, that I think Brent, like you said, was touched by, mm -hmm. and it was um, it was something that I think was revealing about Maika that I, I'm just guessing was um, really attractive a quality that she has. The time has come, and Kurt reminded everyone some we attention. got a, some business to take care of. But before he he wanted to clown. Um, Shavar and Abe. 
and he told them to walk in like if they had some swag and what that looks right. like. Right, he said he wanted them to do a reset and to come into the house like with the ish and how would you do that? How would you execute that to show that to... To Ashley. To Ashley, yes. right. Abe went first and showed, uh, showed the audience, uh, if you will, what his uh, moves were. He did the moonwalk and a few other uh, popular, albeit uh, maybe a little dated dance moves. But the brother pulled it off, and I got to give him his props. Meanwhile, uh, Shuvar, on the other hand, uh, did his little something-something, too, and uh, showed off his ability to cut a rug and make an entrance, if you will. And uh, and I think it was uh, successful as well. And I think Ashley was impressed by both of the gentlemen. He looked like he was high-stepping, doing some, some fraternity dance moves. Based on what I saw, and it seemed like, you know, they were having a, a good time laughing and chatting it up. And I believe everybody was entertained, including Kirk and uh, Kirk and Tammy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Elimination time has now come. Ashley did something that was a little different and chose both of them to move forward to the, uh, to the house. And the reason why was because she had, uh, as was stated at the top of the show, not chosen two knuckleheads from the week before. It's an indication that there's abundance out there because Ashley was able to choose not one but two dudes to go to the mansion, and I'm happy for her. A, a, a stark difference to the pickings of last week. So there's hope. You may have to go through some some challenges before the blessing comes. As you would uh, have commonly said, who knew? It was just a testament to how comfortable she felt with both guys, and 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 like like you said, it was uh, it was just good to see you know a couple of brothers represent properly. 